Good Monday, makers, and welcome back to another episode of our weekly Community Build Showcase. This is where we go into the MakerPipe Connect community and we take a closer look at the ways that people have used conduit, MakerPipe, and other materials to finish their DIY projects. We've got five great builds to look at today. Let's dive right in. First up is a project from Jeff. He is headed cross country in his truck and he wanted to bring along his fat tire e-scooter. He said when he gets to the destination, he uses it to explore around, which I think is a lot of fun. If I'm not mistaken, he's camping in the back of the truck here, which takes up a lot of space. He's not able to haul the scooter back there. So he had to come up with another solution for hauling a scooter with him on his trip. And what he built was really cool. He made this frame using conduit and just a handful of connectors. He used four 90s here in the corner to kind of build out the main frame and hold it together. And then using T connectors, he built out this, looks like an L shaped kind of channel that will hold the scooter. And then he uses ratchet straps to secure it in place. So it's a really great solution. And then on top of that, he needed to make sure that this was safe on the back of his truck. So he used a cool hack that you can get at your local hardware store to actually hold this frame in place. He used these U-bolts here. And I think they're, they're really cheap. I picked some up this morning actually and they fit over conduit really well. And then they come with this plate that you need and the two nuts that you secure everything together. And they work really well, and it's a great hack, great cheap solution. And what he did was drilled into these plates here on this hitch bar and then added, it looks like, eight U-bolts and secured his scooter carrier to this hitch bar. So it's a great solution. Thanks so much for sharing that hack with us. And I hope your trip is going well, Jeff. Next up is a build from Javier, and he's been sharing a ton in the community, and we truly appreciate it. His most recent build is a cocoa bean and oil production and packaging workstation. As you can imagine, those two processes are gonna be a lot different. So he needed this to be modular. He built this simple frame using a lot of T connectors with some 45s on the back and a couple of 180s here in the middle. But he needed this to be modular. He built this simple frame that he can customize to the processes. He's got two pipes sticking off. He added oven mitts and paper towels, which is a nice, simple way to do that. And this is where he used the 180s to actually add that center support um, here. He used 180s there, which is an interesting way to do that. And then you can see he's got a lot of storage on the bottom. And the first process that he needed to optimize was the cocoa bean production. He's got two buckets, one here with the raw cocoa beans, and he takes those, weighs them out, and then puts them in the bag and then stores those in the bucket over here. Here's a wider look at that whole process. And he needed to optimize that and make it more efficient, but also he didn't wanna make it just able to do cocoa bean production and packaging. He also packages oil here on this workstation. So a little bit differently, he needed more surface area. There's a lot more things that go into the packaging of the oil. So he needed more surface area. And it's just a completely modular system that he can customize to the two processes. So it's really cool to see. Added a lot of storage. And here's the before picture. He said it was chaotic. And that's before he built the workstation with maker pipe and conduit. But it looks great. A lot of storage and a great build from Javier. Thanks so much for sharing. Next up is a build from Bob, and he built a collapsible movie screen frame. This is a great build that we see a lot in the fall because it's a great way to get the family outside, have a backyard movie theater. He built this one to be collapsible, easily put back into stores whenever they're not using it, which is a great solution. Basically, the frame is pretty simple. It's got two verticals, one on each side, and then he used four T connectors to build out this rectangle that actually holds and supports the movie screen. It's freestanding, so he's got two legs here and he's used two 45s, one on each side to hold the frame and brace it. And then the way he attached the movie screen frame was interesting as well. He used shower curtain hooks. You can find those pretty much everywhere, Amazon or locally at Home Depot, Lowe's, Walmart, Dollar General, places like that. And that's a great solution. He said he got the hooks that have the rollers, which makes it easier to slide across if he needs to. But he added tension to the movie screen frame using those shower curtain hooks. And I think that's a great option. Another cool thing you can do is get these S hooks. You can find these also at your local hardware store. They fit over conduit really well, as you can see and then you can put the other side of the hook through the movie screen grommet, which is another great option. And I also like using ball bungees for things with grommets as well. We did a whole video on how you can attach things like this with and without grommets. So I'll be sure to link that down below if you're interested. But this is a great build from Bob. Thanks so much for sharing. Looks like a lot of fun. Hope you enjoy it. Next up is not necessarily a build, but a great way to get ready for a project. And this comes from Ava. 
She said it's kind of a splurge, but her Maker Pipe collection deserves it. She's got a lot of parts and accessories here, which we truly appreciate. She went to Lowe's or Home Depot and got some of these toolboxes. They come empty and have these containers on the inside that you can use to organize whatever you may need. And she used them to organize her Maker Pipe collection. She's got the Maker Pipe parts separated by piece. She's got tool storage, accessories, extra friction bands. And it's also tiered, so underneath you can store things like she's got our portable bandsaw down there and some larger items. But just such a cool thing to see and it's a great way to keep your maker pipe stuff organized or really anything in general i mean in your shop or garage or in your home if you need to organize this is a great option thanks so much ava for giving us some ideas i think it's going to be helpful and I, i'm definitely going to use some of this and maybe pick up one of my own because i'm definitely not this organized for builds but thanks so much for sharing that one we appreciate it next up is a build from timothy and he made a slider bed for his rv if you're not familiar with van conversions or rvs slider beds are really popular because they allow you to slide out the bed and have extra room for a mattress if you want like a full size or larger even if you have the space for it and then whenever you're not using the mattress you can slide the bed up into itself and keep it nice and compact so you have more room to move around inside the RV or van. Timothy came up with a great solution to do this with conduit. You can see here he used a series of T connectors and 90 degree connectors to make the frame and then he's got a lot of pipes that are running horizontally into the bed. You can see he actually has a cool hack to actually allow you to do the slider. So he's got PVC, one inch PVC, that is connected and secured to the wood slats that are already there on the bed. And he secured those with two hole straps. And then as you can see, there's a little bit of a gap from the inside of the PVC to the conduit. And this allows him to easily slide the bed up into it. And then he just removes the legs for the bed and stores those in here in the storage drawer. But it's a great solution for a slider bed. And I, I really love the, the incorporation of the PVC. It's a really cheap way and sturdy way to do it. So I've got some here. It's one inch schedule 40 PVC. And he put it on the wood slats. And then I got these. I don't know if these are the exact one hole or two hole straps that he used. But I got them because they worked well and fit well over this one inch pipe. These are for one inch rigid conduit. And he just took these secured the PVC pipes to the wood frame. And then this allowed him to put the conduit inside and he's able to slide it in for storage or pull it out for the bed. I think that's just a really cool way to achieve a slider bed for an RV or a van or something like this. We're actually releasing an interview that we did with Timothy which will be coming out later this week. So be sure to be on the lookout for that if you're interested. That's all the builds I have for you this week. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. And if you want to see more, then definitely consider subscribing. We appreciate it, and we'll see you next time.